Good morning and happy Christmas Eve. I'm Jilly Bedanes here with the top stories we're following on WashingtonTimes.com this Thursday, December 24th, 2009. After months of negotiation and 24 days of consecutive debate, in a historic vote this morning, the Senate passed its health care reform bill. Not only does this vote today mark the closest any Congress has come to reforming the health care system, it's also the first time the Senate has held a vote on Christmas Eve since 1895. The nearly $1 trillion bill extends health care coverage to 31 million uninsured Americans and bans health insurers from denying coverage based on a pre-existing condition. But the battle doesn't end today. Now the Senate and the House will have to find a compromise between the differences in their two bills. And analysts say those negotiations could stretch into February. Following the victory today, President Obama and his family headed to Hawaii for holiday vacation. The family will stay in the president's native state through January 3rd. He had postponed his vacation until after the Senate took its historic vote today. And it was President Obama's first promise of his presidency and first self-imposed deadline to close Guantanamo Bay prison by January 20th, 2010. But now it looks like it could actually take a year more than that. First, Congress must appropriate money for the administration to buy the prison in Illinois and for necessary construction. And with many lawmakers still wary of that transfer of detainees, the debate could be stalled for months. And that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates. And from all of us here at The Washington Times, have a very happy holidays.